Tem lugar de falar. part of the downtown atmosphere. There's plenty of amenities here. We're standing under a trellis. It was a collaborative effort and we also worked with uh, the local architect firm here. And it was originally supposed to be one project. Along the way, it got subdivided into three different projects. We did a complete opposite of the way you would normally work a project. We started with the outside streetscape as the first improvement. And then we completed the amphitheater. And then the site work was all completed and constructed after that. This was the first project that took place was the streetscape and just adding some landscape islands, redoing and adding some parking spots, parallel spots, uh, angled parking spots over here and sort of islands up front that sort of choked down the traffic a little bit. New lighting up here to match the downtown lighting. And some of the amenities in the park that we worked on were the rain garden. There's also uh, silver cells that, that feed some of the trees in, in, the, in the streetscape that are underground cells that house just uh, a lot of topsoil and compost and nutrients for those trees and, and actually takes into account some of the stormwater. It helps in the stormwater flush out and also allows the trees to thrive. With the splash pad, it's, it's constantly recycling when it's on and using the same water because that was, that was something that was important to the community and the town and the park district is that they wanted to really incorporate a lot of sustainable features and green features into this design. Another aspect of this project that, that complicated matters was two different parcels with the alley that you see behind me continued right through this parcel as well and there were overhead lines as well as an underground gas main. So a big portion of this which was handled by the city and was the relocation of these overhead lines to get this, get this out of the park. Our landscape architects worked hard on coming up with a paver design and it really turned out well. It turned out so well that uh, Belden Pavers, who was the manufacturing supplier wound up sending me their catalog this year and this was one of the featured projects in their new catalog. I think everybody's happy that it's here. It definitely transformed this area from an old building and a parking lot and now they have somewhere where, where the, the community can congregate for concerts, movie nights, kids activities, all kinds of things. So it's definitely been something that's brought the community closer together and, and, and is an integral in, in their event planning. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Kelsey Hopkins, and this is Central Park, right in the heart of New York City, where everybody comes. This is an absolute must-see if you are in New York. It's beautiful, it's just romantic, it's stunning to be around, it's great to take pictures, and Central Park is actually one of the most filmed locations in all of the world. When I come to the park, I love to just take pictures. It's such a beautiful place to take pictures. And what I got with me today is a Canon Rebel DSLR. This is so much better than a point and shoot or my camera phone. Not only can you take pictures with this, but you get really high quality video recordings as well. So let's have some fun. So today I brought with me to the park a standard 18 to 55 millimeter lens. This comes with the camera and is great for most things that you can shoot. So today on this lens I put a polarizing filter, which is kind of like putting sunglasses on your camera lens. It's great for very bright light, which is perfect for Central Park. Not only did I bring the standard uh, lens, I also brought this 75 to 300 millimeter lens, which is a lot of fun for far away, shooting wildlife, uh, the bird turtles. When shooting with my longer lens, I like to bring around a tripod. And what's better than this gorilla pod? It's super portable and you can move it and bend it and put around tree branches, things like that. I also brought along a flash, which is great when it starts to get dark out. Central Park is known for little structures throughout it that are very shaded and very dark. And this flash works perfectly for those situations. And to carry all of this, I use this slinger bag. It's super small, but it fits everything I have for today. So super light, super easy. I can throw it over my shoulder and carry it around with me. This is the famous Bow Bridge. It's a wonderful place to take pictures. It's been in many films, and most notably, Breakfast at Tiffany's, one of my favorite films. I love coming here to take pictures of the boats. We finished here at Bethesda Fountain, one of the most famous fountains here in Central Park. It's a great place to take pictures. There's a lot of things that happen here, little street performances. I love to come here to just sit, think, watch the people around me. You should also come to Central Park to check out the movies here at Sheep's Meadow, as well as Shakespeare in the Park. You will be sure to have a great time and get a lot of great pictures. My name's Kelsey Hopkins, and I'll see you next time.